What's up guys, it's Jelly with Squid Industries and today I'm gonna teach you how to do the thumb rollover. The thumb rollover is a fundamental trick that'll help you learn rollovers on your other fingers. The only prerequisite is the basic opening. So let's get to the breakdown. So to do the thumb rollover, you want to start by holding the bite handle, which is indicated by this little bite handle marker here. You can actually pick this up on our store so that you don't get confused which handles which if you're flipping. You can also look at it throughout the course of this video so you don't get confused. So again, hold this bite handle. You want to be slightly away from the pivots. You don't want to be on top of them or on the middle of the handle. Right around here is good. If you have a squid trainer, in between this pivot and this first hole is the perfect place to hold it. So make sure that you're gripping it almost like a pen and that the rest of the belly swings freely. You don't want to hold it like this. Just grip it like this. And at this point, flick the belly out using your wrist. So flick like this. And then you'll see that the safe handle swings out and goes around your thumb. So by doing this motion, you can already tell that the belly wants to roll over, but you're still holding it by the bite handle. So what you gotta do is, as it swings and gets near this position, let go and make sure that your fingers are out of the way so that the safe handle can land in this position. Then grab the safe handle and dip your hand down so that the rest of the belly falls over. And at this point, you can just open up your hand and swing the bite handle back up and you've caught the thumb roll over. So again, it's gonna look like this. So I taught you how to do the thumb roll over starting with the bite handle so that when you do the roll over and catch the safe handle, you don't get cut by the edge of the blade here. If you started with the safe handle and stopped it in the same way, if this was a live blade, the edge of the blade would cut your fingers here. There is a way to avoid that and that's with a technique called a wrist pass, which I'll show you. I'll demonstrate this on a live blade. I'll do the thumb roll over starting with the bite handle. And you can see that I don't get cut at all because the spine of the blade contacts my fingers instead of the edge. But if I were to start with the safe handle, I'd have to do a wrist pass and divert that momentum so that the edge of the blade doesn't stop on my fingers. Now you can do this wrist pass horizontally like this or vertically like this. So I'll start by teaching you the horizontal wrist pass, and it's pretty easy. All you're doing is dipping your hand down and turning your wrist over instead of hard stopping it. So as you can see, when I do it with the bite handle, I can hard stop it like this, and I don't need to dip down. I can just bring it back up, and I've done a thumb roll over. But to do it with the safe handle, you would need to dip down and turn over so that the knife, if you're using a live blade, doesn't cut your fingers. So again, after I do that thumb roll, when I catch the safe handle, I have to dip down and then turn my wrist over, causing the safe handle to swing back in where I can catch it. Here, dip down, swing and catch. Now you can do that really slowly just to practice and then you can do it full speed once you got the hang of it. To do the wrist pass vertically, the motion instead of dipping down and going around like this, it's dipping down and going the other way and bringing the handle forward. So I'll show you right now. I dip down and instead of turning this way, I dip and I turn the other way and then bring the handle forward and I'll catch it in this open position. Now that I showed you the most basic version of the thumb roll, I'll show you a couple different combos and tricks that incorporate it.
All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Hope you all learned something. Check out our other tutorials if you wanna learn more tricks and comment down below with what other tricks you want us to teach you. Also, visit the Squid Industries website and our other social media platforms, links in the description. So, that being said, I'll leave you guys with a quick flipping clip and see y'all next time.